when we're considering the intervention in our pristine democratic process, it's worth bearing in mind that even the Israeli intervention, which is far beyond any other country, is minuscule as compared with the corruption of the political process by simply funding of candidates. Now, this is not just since Citizens United that opened the faucet a little wider, but it goes back over a century. You go back to 1895, uh, there was a great famous campaign manager, Mark Hanna, uh, was asked once, uh, what are the important things to, that you need for a political campaign? And he said, uh, the first thing is money. And the second thing is money. And I've forgotten what the third is. That was the 1890s. Uh, and in fact, this extensive important work in academic social science, uh, political science, which shows that you can literally predict the outcome of an election with remarkable precision is simply by looking at the one variable of campaign spending. That's both for president and for Congress, and it runs through the 2016 campaign, incidentally. And that's just a small part of it, since electability depends on campaign funding. That means uh, your congressional representative, once he or she is elected, the first task is to get funding for the next election. Uh, meanwhile, what happens to the legislative process? Well, corporate lobbies are invited to talk to the staff, the congressional staff, and instruct them about what the legislation ought to be. And this reaches the point where they actually write the legislation. They're written by corporate lobbyists, uh, signed by the congressional representative. Uh, this is one reason why uh, other work demonstrates that about 70% about of the voting population, the lower 70% on the income scale, are completely disenfranchised, literally, in the sense that their own representatives pay absolutely no attention to their opinions. They're listening to the donor class. Uh, you know, talking about interference in the elections in a system like this is kind of uh, ludicrous in the first place.